Welcome back. This week, you can help Coyote Country's Jay and Kevin in their 26th annual food drive for Second Harvest. And for many years, they have been collecting food and monetary donations to help fight hunger in our community. Destiny Richards is live at r, &R RV Center on Francis to tell us more about this year's food drive. That's right, the 26th year that Jane and Kevin have been doing this for our community. They have their show going at the same time and we just switch shows here to be on TV and talk all about the food drive as well. So thanks guys for being here with us. Um, tell us again for those just joining uh, why you guys do this food drive every year because 26 years is a long time. It was crazy like 26 years ago our idea was you know what we're going to do is give everyone a chance to donate. And so we did it in Riverfront Park, believe it or not. It was our first couple of years in Riverfront Park and we would do it 24 hours. So we were there overnight, the whole deal. We don't do that anymore. Now we do 6 a.m. We're getting a little older. So we do 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. And you know, it's still enough opportunity for people to do it, and especially with the online donations. You can go to Jane Kevin Show on Facebook and you can make your donation there. It's very simple. So we kind of scaled back the hours, but the concept has always been just to have enough opportunity for people to stop by throughout the week and make that donation. Absolutely, and um, we're here at r, r RV Center. You guys have been at different locations, Tomato Street. Um, what's it like doing your show remotely, getting to see people in person, come by and donate? Uh, it, we love seeing the people. I mean, it's been obviously a long couple of years, but this is one of those where you see people, sometimes you see them only once a year, but it's here. And we've seen people every year for 26 years. You just kind of become a big family. So it's really a lot of fun to get out and see the people. Everybody's so great about coming out and making a donation. And it's literally, some people will come every day for five days. Oh, it just becomes kind of part of what they do. And they'll come by and they'll donate a little bit each day. So, I mean, if somebody could come by five days in a row, I would think everybody could probably do a little bit. I mean, even yeah. Robin and Derek and Mark could do it during a break online. Uh -huh. I'm just saying. <laughs> You know. We have laptops over there. <laughs> I know where you guys work. I can walk downstairs. <laughs> All right. Well, great. Thank you again for being here. You guys can come and donate. I think we just had a person drive by as we were doing this, so it just takes a couple of seconds. We're going to let you guys get back to your show. Will I be on the show? We're going to see. I don't know. I don't have a face for radio. <laughs> I don't think. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll be, we'll be back later this hour as well. I'll send it back to you guys in the studio. <laughs> Oh, uh, no, you definitely she have a face for TV. Yeah, she come does. on. That's what she says. She doesn't have the radio. All right, face. big nine nine.